Hey guys, Danny Duggar here uh, with a quick video to show you how to get your 18SZ set up for telemetry using the brain. Uh, the brain has been enabled with the ability to read uh, data from a few different ESCs on the market. Uh, the Castle, um, Hobby Wing, which is really nice because Hobby Wing doesn't have its own logging feature. So the brain can log all the data from the hobby wing on the brain to itself and you can also send that data to your radio as telemetry. Uh, it'll also work for Contronic. Um, basically anything you could use a J-Log with you can you can use brain telemetry. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to the linkage menu here. Um, under your system type you want to make sure you're bound at fast as 18 channel. Fastest 12 channel will not work with telemetry, uh, so you're going to want to make sure you're running that top unit. And once you're bound, you'll see your serial number from the receiver in here. Telemetry, you want that to be active. The downlink interval, uh, you can set that as fast as you want. Two seconds is as slow as they'll let you set it. Uh, just know that the faster you set this value, it's going to decrease stick response a little bit. Uh, whether or not it's enough to be perceivable in flight, I have no idea. Uh, I've always just left mine at two. It's always been good enough for me. And uh, I figure if I can keep as good a stick response as I can, that's what I want. So I'll just leave my downlink interval at two. Um, now the next thing you're going to want to do is go here to this little sensor box down here in the bottom right corner. Now this is going to tell you, these are all your slots for telemetry. And there's going to be a few of these right out of the box if you set up a new model and you've never set up telemetry on your radio. There's going to be a few automatically populated sensors in here. And uh, what I do, if you just click on any one of those slots, it'll tell you, you know, all of the different sensor types that you can, uh, that you can load into that slot. And if you want to blank something out that was there already that you're not going to use, you know, like say they had a, a Vario set up right here, you can just click on that, whichever one's white, it'll auto, the automatically popul populated slots will be gray. You just click on the white one, the first one, and click on the, the box of, of dotted lines there, and that'll blank that sensor out. Um, for, the, for the brain telemetry to work, you're going to want to start at slot 16. Okay, so you click on slot 16 and you're going to enable Castle TLO as the telemetry there. And that's going to automatically populate slots from 16 to 23. And that's going to give you all the parameters that come from the speed controller. And that's going to work for your Castle speed controllers. For the Hobby Wing speed controllers, for the Contronic, all of them, that's good. they're all going to use this same Castle TLO sensor. Um, because the Castle TLO was already built into the Futaba uh, firmware. So that allowed us to use it this way. Uh, for slot 24, here's where you're going to use uh, this current sensor right here. CURR F1678. Click on that one, that's going to automatically populate 24 through 26. And that's going to give you your voltage, your current, uh, current draw, and capacity. So that's, a, that's, that's an important sensor to have if you want to fly by a battery capacity alarm. Um, you can do that by going into the linkage menu, same place we were, on the second page. Click on telemetry, and here you're going to see all of the different uh, sensors that you have set up. You're always going to see this receiver sensor because that's your, your receiver that you're using. It's always going to be sending battery, uh, which is your receiver battery, and your external battery voltage. If you've got an external sensor that was hooked up, that's what that would be. Um, I've never even used that, so I always just see my, my receiver voltage. And the Castle TLO and the current sensor both will give you your main pack voltage and current draw in flight. Um, but your current sensor is where you're going to see your capacity come through. And if you click on that current sensor, that'll let you click on 
the big side over here next to capacity, there you'll see uh, the high side is where you'll want to set that limit to, you know, however much capacity you go through in a flight to where your battery is discharged enough that you want to recharge it. Before you fly by capacity alarm, you're going to want to calibrate by flying with your timer first and get a feel for how much capacity the speed controller is telling you that you're going through in a flight. Um, do this at high head speed and at low head speed. Uh, run a full pack at idle up three and charge that battery up. See how much capacity your charger says it's putting back into the pack. And you can use the milliamp hour slider, milliamp hour correction factor is what it's called in the brain software. Uh, you can adjust that to make those numbers match up. You're going to want to do that for high head speed and for low head speed so that you, uh, so that you know you're calibrated to your range on your ESC. Um, some ESC's firmware is uh, a little limited in that they calculate the capacity a little bit differently at high head speed and at low head speed. There may be um, a little bit different fudge factor. So make sure you understand that and uh, calibrate it at, at, all, at both throttle extremes. Uh, and once that's done, your capacity alarm will always be reliable. Uh, so next, if you want to go set up your head speed. So r right out of the box, your head speed is going to be wrong if you just take off and fly the way it is right now. Um, according to the reading on your telem telemetry. So if you click on the Castle TLO, you go to rotation, and the math for the head speed is already done in the brain in the governor settings. So in here, you want to make it so that the math, there's no math added to uh, the reading coming from the speed controller in the radio. So you're going to want to click on the pole count and bring that all the way down to 2 and leave the gear ratio at 1 and that's just going to let the radio display the raw data from the speak from the brain from the speed controller and your head speed should be correct um and that's about it guys uh there's one other thing if you want to set up there's a little shortcut key after you've got your telemetry set up if you hit the home exit button it'll give you four different values here and you can click the top box where it says receiver here and that's your sensor you can tell it which sensor you want to pull this telemetry from where it says current right here you can click that and if you want to read capacity you can tell it to read capacity then you can see how many milliamp hours you've flown through during the flight and you can do that for every one of these if you want to see battery voltage here if you want to see go to your TLO and you want to see uh, head speed um, TLO, if you want to see uh, ESC temperature, you know, you can set those four, those four parameters up to be anything you want them to be. And so you've got all those values right at the push of a button if you're in flight. You can just push that button and look down. Um, but besides that, guys, that's about it. Uh, it's really quick and easy setup. Uh, the guys at MSH have, have really made this simple. I think it's a, an, an awesome, awesome feature. And uh, I hope you think so too. But if you have any questions, just let me know. And I hope you guys get this set up and enjoy it. Take care.